Thank you for calling CVS Pharmacy. This is Mike. How can I help you today? Yeah, I, I got a, a thing saying I got charged 289.89 for an order, but I don't know what it's for. Do you? I, I don't know what's going on with this thing. Like you were saying, you received a message from us right, about from the charge. CVS Pharmacy mm -hmm. says uh, to call mm -hmm. this number because mm -hmm. I got charged for something. I don't even use CVS. I go to Walgreens. I don't know why CVS would charge me anything. Do you? Do not do not worry at all okay. sir if you haven't charged it uh like if you haven't ordered the I didn't uh, order medicines anything. you won't yeah you won't be charged for that okay? okay uh let me go ahead and look up the details so that okay. i can help you oh, better okay i don't can know. i have your first and last name please my first name is larry l a r r y my last name is mandello m o n d e l l o larry mandello Okay, um, Mr. Mandela, uh, just be on call. Okay, and okay. this is the very same number on which you received the message that is... Yes. I'm checking the details, sir. Okay. Just be on call. thank you. Larry, I do see the order that is order number 19632, amounting to 289.89. And this is for asthma prescription. Asthma? I don't even so have asthma. I, why, and I go to Walgreens. I don't go to CVS. I go to Walgreens. Mm -hmm. And ha have you shared your phone number with anyone else, maybe your wife or your kids, who would have ordered this from their side? No, they wouldn't have ordered. My friend Beaver Cleaver, he's got my number, but why would he order stuff under my name? No, uh, and sir. Whitey, um, uh, Whitey right. wouldn't order it. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, it seems like a case of identity theft, Larry. Okay. Somebody else has gone ahead and got your information. They are using your phone number, uh, your credentials. They have utilized your debit card for making this transaction. Oh, why would they and do that? How would they do that? I don't know how that works. Actually, uh, so it looks like a case of identity theft, as I told you. Yeah, and these I know are that, but I don't know how, how, do, how, how would they steal my identity? I don't know. I go to I go to Walgreens. Uh, generally, these kind of people, sir, they get the information from the internet. While you are going on the internet, you are saving your information or entering your emails or your passwords. That's how these uh, people oh. get your information from. Oh, see, and I don't know how that stuff works. Uh, do not worry at all, Larry. Let me go can ahead help and help me? you with this. Yeah, can you cancel this thing? And then I've got to worry about it. Oh, uh, sure, sir. What okay. we are going to do, there are two issues which are there in front of us. First of all, this account, the online CVS Pharmacy account, it has been uh, created on 2nd of March without your permission. Yeah, I don't know anything about the, it. Like, yeah, cancel it. Yes, yes. So, so I am going that. ahead and canceling yeah, it okay, right good. now. Okay, good. All right, thank you. And I would make it sure that no further purchases are okay. possible by using our website. Right. In next 24 to 72 working hours, you would receive a notification saying this account with CVS Pharmacy has been permanently deleted also. Okay, okay? good, yes. And one more thing, uh, Larry, okay. which I'm going ahead and doing for you. Yes. Uh, as this charge was pre-authorized, okay, and the orders are already in transit. So for this, I'm going ahead and writing an email to the billing team, and we are going to go ahead and file a case with the bank who has provided you with this debit card. And I would share a case number with you. Okay. So I need you to have a pen and paper handy with you oh, right let now. Me find so that one. I can Okay. Mm -hmm. Take oh, your time. I don't, I don't know. Okay. What is it? Please uh, write down, first of all, write down the order number. That order. is 19632. 19632. Okay. And the exact amount which is there, 289.89. 89.89. And it's for asthma medicine, you said. I, I don't even have asthma. Sir, I, I, uh, you, I know you don't have asthma, as you have told me earlier also, but okay. these people, they, they, they use it for themselves or whatever purpose, well, I don't have, know. They must have asthma. 
<laughs> or they might be selling in the black market oh, or something. Oh, I never thought of that. Yeah, because if they are using your details, they are not doing it for good purpose. No. Uh, that they are not going ahead and doing charity. Yes. Okay. Okay. And sir, right now I'm filing a case with your bank. Please confirm okay. me the name of the bank, bank who has America. provided you with the Bank, bank of, America. of America. Mm hmm and do you have the toll free number, the one eight hundred number? Not offhand. Mm -hmm. Just wait, sir. Okay. And uh, just give me two minutes. Let me file the case so that I can have the case number, and I would provide okay, it to yes, you. Okay. Yes, I need that case number, I guess. Yeah, that would be important, sir, because right now, once we go ahead and get you connected, uh, the bank people they would go ahead and talk to you about this. Oh, the bank so, people so are going to talk. Uh, okay. Yes, all sir. Right. Because right know. now, first, first of all, I have to register the case. Okay. Okay. So give me two, two minutes. Two. Let me get the case okay. registered. Okay. Yes, get it registered. Then we can cancel this. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Please hold the line. Okay. Thank you for being on call, Larry. Yes. Okay. okay. I have got the case registered. Please okay. write it down. Okay. I the case that. number. Okay. What is it? It's M as in Michael. M. C as in Charlie. C. H as in Henry. H. 8573. 8573. Now, what do I mm -hmm. do with this number? Uh, just... Just keep it saved with keep you, it sir. Saved. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, because uh, right now we have gone ahead and registered the case with the bank. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are just waiting for the confirmation from them, and uh, what exactly we have got it registered under? We have got it registered under hacking, so that mm -hmm. your case is taken on priority basis also. Yeah. Uh, it must have been hacking. Me, yeah. Yeah, I don't have I don't like, have asthma. I don't have that. I yeah, got high blood you, you pressure. Told me that. I got <laughs> high blood pressure, but not asthma. I don't know. Uh, like, uh, do you live alone, or do you do you live no, with your I, wife? Or? I live alone. Mm -hmm. That means there is no chance of anyone else my ordering that from your account or creating no, an account. Here, no, like I said, my friend Beaver Cleaver, but he wouldn't order it. And Whitey, he wouldn't do it. Those are my two best friends. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, we have already got it registered. And it seems your devices have got compromised somehow, okay? Uh -oh. Because these, these people were able to go ahead and get the one-time password. Uh -oh. Somehow sent from your phone. My phone. And they got it. Yeah. The, when we you are registering yourself right. on our website, there is a one-time password which is sent. What's the so password? That was I verified. Wonder. What's the password? Sir. So Do that I need is that generated. Password? No, that is oh. needed. That is a one-time password, okay. sir, which is used to uh, access the details. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, so okay. it was sent to for the confirmation that it's you who has done it, and me. it was verified. It's not me. Uh, as I as I told you, I sorry, don't have it was asthma. A piece of I don't fact. know why they would do that. Mm -hmm. uh, don't worry, sir. Okay, uh, what we are going to do right now, we have already got the case registered. Okay, and okay. since your devices seem to have got compromised, uh, what I'm going ahead and doing, I would be connecting you secure on a secured line with the Bank of America, Bank of so America. that you can tell, okay. tell yeah, them. and you can. Yes, tell that you haven't this. done this ch uh, charges. Right. You haven't done authorize the charges they'll take and it off. They'll, put, they'll take the charge off yep. probably yes okay yes, yeah sir, I, so. i've had to do that once before and they took mm -hmm. it right off they were good about it yes it's so uh, that's why sir okay just be on call okay I'll be let here. me go ahead and yes. quickly get you transferred yes there. transfer me please it might take a minute also, a minute. Sir, okay? okay so you need okay please hold the line i will Thank you for calling Bank of America. This is Brad William. How can I help you? Well, I got a thing from CVS. They connected me to you because somebody ordered asthma medicine for two eighty nine ninety nine, but I don't have asthma, so I don't know. 
Okay. Um, I told the other man. I told the other man. I don't even have asthma. Uh, we received an email from them saying uh, there was a transaction which happened without your permission. Right. So we got to cancel uh, that. Okay. Let me look at at, at your account. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that. I can see what exactly. Yeah, I do oh. see a charge over here. Okay. That's for two eighty nine eighty nine. That's right. But That's what it, it was. But this is still not debited on onto your account. Okay. Uh, this, yes, and this is oh. a transaction which is in process, but so. it is not yet debited, and it is not even posted yet. Okay. Oh, so we caught so, it in time. Yeah, actually we did, Larry. And okay, uh, that's good. great that you yeah. were so active. Uh, yeah, I, well, I pay attention when I get something like this. Mm -hmm. And have you shared your card information with anyone else? No, I told... Let's say on it. No, I told the other man that. that I, didn't, I don't share it with anybody. Because I know what happens, so nobody's got my stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I have gone ahead and put a red flag on red this fl transaction. Okay, good. Okay, and this transaction would not go through. Okay. Uh, but I see some uh, other transactions over here. Please be on call, okay? Give me a minute. Okay. Let me yeah. properly go through your account. Okay. So that I can see what exactly Thank is you. going on. Okay. Just be on call. Okay. Are you there, Lally? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Uh, while I check your account, sir, yeah. I find two other transactions what? Uh, which were authorized today. But, today? And these are I didn't buy anything today. Sir. I didn't buy anything today. Okay, uh, do you have a pen and paper with you right now? Yes. I need you to write down these two transactions. Okay, I'll write them and down. And tell me... Okay, go ahead. The first one is done by some computer support company. It's PLC computer support. No. And the amount is three ninety nine ninety nine. No, I never heard of them. I didn't buy anything. And there is another transaction which is coming up and this is coming from Cosmocrat. Who? And this is Cosmic Cosmocrat. I don't know what yeah. that is. Do you? You ever uh, hear of them? It is it is coming under networking and this oh, is networking. for seven Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is for seven thirty-two dot thirty-two. Seven hundred dollars and thirty-two cents. Yeah, and that—that's the one. Seven hundred and thirty-two dollars. Well, you gotta and cancel those. Debt. You gotta cancel them too. They have been authorized. Like when we well, found this, I didn't this, authorize uh, speeches, them. Mm -hmm, you didn't authorize them. Why no? And. And when, when was the last time you actually used your debit card from your side? Oh, Do you geez, remember a couple that? days ago. I don't remember. I had to go to the store, and I used it at the mm -hmm. store, and I, I bought some bread and some milk, and uh, mm -hmm. I think I got some cookies, but uh, I don't think anything else. Oh, I got some carrots, carrots and but peas. I'll they come together, but after frozen, that, they were frozen. That's mm -hmm. it, though. And uh, after that, you don't remember making any other charges, Oh, no, right? no. Any other. Okay, and what was the last balance which you remember into your checking account? Oh, gee, it was like 2300 I think. 2300 and after that you haven't done any transaction from your side you are telling me am i right no i haven't done anything no not since i went to mm -hmm. the store and got the stuff i needed <laughs> and sir do because, you because you know they had the eclipse so i had to i bought stuff ahead of time because everybody was going to be looking at the eclipse 
So I, I got that. I went to the store and got everything I needed so I wouldn't have to go out during the eclipse because it gets dark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, um, sir, uh, do you hold any other account with us, like any saving or credit card also? No. Saving account. You just oh, with you? Oh, checking. with Bank of America? Yeah, I, I think I, 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 I have a savings account there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I see. Yeah, that's what now, I got. Uh, right. And when, what was the last balance you remember oh, in your I savings? I don't know. I can look. I don't remember. I don't yeah, pay please attention. Check it out. I don't pay attention to please savings. I try to save it. That's why I leave it in there. Okay. Okay. Close that. Let's see. The savings balance is thirteen hundred and nineteen dollars. No, no, no. Thirteen hundred. Savings is twenty four sixty three. Twenty four sixty three. And and the checking is. Checking is uh, twenty three twenty two. Twenty three twenty two. Is that what your end says? Apart, what does your end yes, say? Yes. Does your say that apart too? Apart from. No, apart from that, there are two other transactions which are which I told you about. Right, PCF and the other thing. Right, but I didn't but do them, that so you got to cancel them. You got to cancel. Them. I think maybe I'll just send me a new card because obviously somebody's got this number. We we might have to. We yeah. might have to. We are yeah. looking into it. And okay. since it is a case of hacking, hacking, we are reporting it to the FTC also. FTC. Regarding this. Yeah, they look at that yes. stuff. Okay. Yeah, they have to look at it. And apart from this, what we are going ahead and doing, we would be reporting it to the authorities. I would be writing the email and talking with the supervisor about this. Okay. And uh, give, it might take some time. How much you time? To I gotta meet line. my friend Beaver Cleaver down in the park. And um, uh, when when would be that? Well, when usually you have to we, leave? usually we we meet at around one o'clock. That's when the the uh, the thing starts. <laughs> uh, sir, right now it is a hacking issue. Okay. And I I think. Uh, your identity, your money comes first first in this case. Yeah, it uh, probably but does. I, yeah, it more, matters most over here. Right. Because if what when we are running a scan onto your account details, we are running a scan onto your SSN, everything, everything. so that we can find out okay. who exactly is who doing is it? it. Yeah, okay. we gotta find out who it is, and then you yeah. can arrest um, them. That's the thing, sir. We yeah. have to make it sure yes. that these people don't go unpunished. Okay? Right, okay. Just be on call. Let me go ahead and get it okay. reported to the FTC. Okay. <clears throat> Hello? Are you there, Larry? <coughs> yes. Are you well, sir? No. Okay. You, you please please have a glass of water for I, yourself. I'm going to get my mouth set. Did you talk to the FTC? Yes, sir. We have reported it, okay? Okay. And they, they are looking at it. They are from their side going to run a scan on the account details, everything. Okay. And they are going to check because when they were starting the scan, they can see that there were many bogus accounts bogus. also with accounts also which were created under your name so they were not just what, using what they your card oh. information did what are they going they to were do? using your name my name larry mandelo uh not your name only oh. sir they they were able to create an account uh using your name your driving license my driving and your license assistance. oh no Okay. It seems like uh, you have. Have you? Do you do online banking? All those things onto your computer, or yeah. you save your documents there? These yeah. People would have got it. The investigations are on, sir. Okay. okay. And we are going ahead and in contact with the FTC people. FTC. And I'm the one. Okay. Yeah. And I'm the one who is who has been assigned the case officer, the investigation officer on your case.
from the you FTC? can write down my name from the Bank of America. Oh, your sir. Bank of America. Okay, what's your name? This is Brad Williams. Brad Williams. Williams. Okay, Brad. Okay, and please write down oh. my number, number, my extension. Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. Suppose if if we lose you, okay, or you lose me, you can directly okay. call on my personal number. Okay. That is. Three zero one. Three zero one. Two three five. Two three five. Two four four nine. Two four four nine. Okay. Mhm. Mm so you can save it into your phone, and yeah, you and can call I, me. If I need you, I can yeah. call you. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes, Brad. sir. And. And right now, what we have been told, we have to make a list of all the accounts which you hold, which you actually hold under your name, uh, either with us or any other financial institution. And we have to report it. Oh, I got this Bank of the, America. All the, just let me complete, Larry. Okay, All complete. the other accounts which might come up, because right now, there are many accounts, as I told you earlier, which have been created without uh, your permission, using your credentials, your details. So the first thing which we are doing, we are separating all your accounts from bogus accounts. Okay. So that we can... Well, the only account I got is Bank of America. So everything else is bogus. Okay, so you just have the account with us, uh, Bank of America. Right. And do you hold any credit card also? Yeah, with Bank of America. Everything is through Bank That's of America. I always use you guys because you guys always been good to me. No, no, that that's what I'm asking you, Larry. Yeah, that's why. Uh, apart from I like talking yes, to you apart guys. from us, yeah. Okay. Apart from us. Yes. You do. You, you don't have any other account. No. So I can report it because yeah, once report I report it, yeah. it all the yeah, other accounts would it. be frozen. Yeah, froze it. Froze all the other ones because they ain't mine. Sure, we okay. would be going ahead and doing okay, it again. Okay, do that. Okay. And when, when was the last time you asked, you used your credit card? My credit card, I hardly ever use it. I don't know, it was a long time ago because I don't like using that. I always use you my don't. debit. Okay, that's good. And what's the uh, available limit, do you remember, which was there onto your 10, card 000. when you checked? $10,000. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, what we have to do right now, okay. when we are getting the report, it seems it might be a insider job also. Insider okay? job. Because What's that mean? Insider he, job. Uh, sir, when was the last time you visited your branch personally by yourself? Visited the branch at Bank of America? Uh, yes. Like two weeks ago, I was there. I had to, had to cash a check uh, that I got from my. My uh, sister Sally Sue for my birthday. It was back in March, mm -hmm. and she sent me a check, of course, for my birthday because she's like that. She's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, what we are going to do uh, right now, sir? Okay. First thing, we are going to make it sure that your account is completely safe and secure. Okay. okay. All right. Because r when we check your details we found that one of the transactions the IP address with through which it was authorized that was for the local branch only oh, so it's an insider job that's what I, I bet you it's you that yesterday. girl that works it down at the end teller because she looks a little shady when I go in there she always like uh, looks at me like she knows I got money, and she knows what I got, and that's why I never go to her. I always go to the late, the older lady. She's the second mm -hmm. one down, the older lady with the glasses, mm -hmm. and she always, 
she's real nice and she takes care of me, so I'm sure she's not the insider. But that one down at the end, I I don't I think y'all look into her. Larry, let me tell you, okay. right at this point, we can't trust anyone of No, them I don't trust anyone if, now. Because if a person is doing it, uh, it, it cannot be a single one-person job. No, so this it's probably, is a, very a, big it's probably a gang. It, it, might, it might be a, a collaboration of people collaboration. who are doing oh. it. Okay. Because it might be happening from different places. Oh. Uh, because when we check, as I told you, there were accounts also which were getting created under your name. And as well as right now when we are checking it further, we see that the IP address used is for one of the transaction authorization that from your branch only. Oh. So right now... What I that think that is girl's very... name is Helen. Helen, down at the end. The end teller, Helen. Because I always Let go to Ruth. Yeah, Helen. Write that down. Mm -hmm. And then I go to Ruth, the older lady, and she's always nice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, do you share your details to any one of those people? Have you shared your details with them? With the bank, they have my details. Why would I share my details? They already have it. They have everything. It's the bank. No, no. I'm not asking you those details, sir. Like, I'm asking you when you went inside the branch last time or before that. Did you, anyone over there ask for anything special or you thought that something is fishy about them? Fishy? No, nah, nothing was fishy. No, nah. but I used to work on a fishing boat a long time ago. But there was nothing fishy at the bank. Hello, Brad. Just give me a minute. Brad, what are, yeah, we, what are we doing? Are we almost done? No, no. Uh, let me tell you, Larry. Uh, it might be a big case over here. A okay. Big case. Okay. Uh, Toilet face. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because we are not going to go ahead and block or completely freeze your account right now. We are putting it in under constant monitoring. Okay. And good. we are going yes. And we are going to go ahead and make it sure that throughout the time if anything comes up we can check it, okay? Okay. As well as the main thing over here is sir that your account, your money that has to be safe and secure, as well as your information, your identity. Okay, let's that do that and get it over with, with, okay, Brad? Okay. Sure. I would give you a call, sir, okay? You have my number saved with you? Yeah, I got the number. But mm -hmm. I got... It might take... Yeah, go ahead. I, Brad, I've already been on the phone with you for... 39 minutes I've been wasting your fucking time, you scamming bastards. And I don't know if I can do it any longer. I'm getting tired, dude. You know what I mean? You fucker, hang up. The text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Brad, where the fuck did you go, you scamming bastard? I'm trying to call you back. You said to call you back. You fuck stick I am. You hung up. That's not good. That's not good customer service, Brad.